Hola, buenas. Eh, bienvenidos a Spanish Lessons Online. Oh, that's nice. That's nice to see uh, familiar faces and also many new ones. Thank you for your support so far. <laughs> Thank you. Um, ¿Qué tal va el alfabeto? Espero que muy bien. Um, as promised on my last video about the alphabet, I, I want today to give you a few rules um, that will help you a lot with both, with writing, orthografía, and pronunciation, pronunciación. Um, and as I say to my students, because uh, in lessons I always try to use Spanish as much as I can, I always say to my students that um, don't worry if you don't understand a hundred percent of all my words, everything, because that's not the, the thing. The thing is to try to communicate anyway. So if you get, you know, the hint of what we're talking about, um, that's more than enough, all right? Um, and don't worry because you can also later on maybe uh, make a comment and say oh it was a bit too difficult for me to to follow or or whatever but we'll be here to help so uh, just give it a go all right and also you've got the option um, of using the subtitles to see you know um, all my uh, examples in full version um, and and try and read and listen at the same time um, to help you with that and maybe you want and you prefer not to use the subtitles maybe you want to practice a little bit by writing what you hear the, sub the, the examples for instance and then double check afterwards and see whether or not you've written them in the right way, for example, yeah? So, yeah, let's make a start, shall we? <laughs> okay. Um, la letra H, número uno, letra H. La letra H es sh, muda, no se pronuncia. Por ejemplo, mmm, me gusta el helado de limón, es mi favorito. <risa> o hoy no tengo mucha hambre, voy a cenar zanahoria con un poco de humus. I've got this one here, hola, the greeting, hola, hi. And hola, which means wave. And look, the pronunciation is absolutely the same. Hola, hola. Right? So watch out for these sort of um, words that, you know, where the H is quite important because otherwise you would be uh, um, like writing a completely different word, different meaning. Okay? Um, La combinación CH es como en inglés. Ch, ch, ch. Chin. Yeah. Um, is this sound like, like that? Pronunciation. Ch, ch, ch. Buenas noches. O tengo un coche nuevo. O, oh, ala, qué chulo ese cuadro nuevo en tu habitación. ¿Sí? Muy bien. Número dos. Letras B y V. En español se pronuncian igual. B. B. La botella de vino blanco. ¿Sí? Hoy, para comer, tenemos pescado y podemos abrir una botella de vino blanco, ¿sí? Fenomenal. Número 3. La doble L. Doble L es como una I, pero más fuerte. Ya, ya, ye. Y, 
yo, you. Me llamo María. Ella vive en la calle Gran Vía 32. Ah, chicos, la paella ya está servida en la mesa. A comer, ¿sí? Letra... Eh, número 4. Letra R. Por ejemplo, Roma o me gustan los retos, ¿sí? Al principio de la palabra, the beginning of the word, the sound is a strong one. Rr, Roma, reto, ¿sí? If you've got the R in the middle of the word, you need, if it's a strong R, you need two double R written, yeah? Ortografía. Perro. Perro. A dog. Tengo miedo a los perros. Alright? But, in my name, Maria, the sound is a very, like, soft one. Right? It's between vowels. Can you see? Between vowels. We just need one R if you need a strong, um, a soft sound. María o perro. En el nombre, Enrique, we've got a strong R as well. Because we've got consonante, consonant, and a vowel, una vocal, afterwards, right? And... My baby <laughs> se llama Victor. Victor. Strong R as well, right? At the end of the word. ¿Sí? Fenomenal. Número 5. Sonidos o K, 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 o sonidos fa, fe, fi, zo, zu. In uh, Latin America or in the south of Spain, this sound that that in English, for instance, it's um, written like th, as in someone thin, slim, thin. That sound. Um, as I as I am saying, in Latin America or in the South of Spain, people um, pronounce the same sound, the same sound with an S. So, for instance, it would be sa, se, si, so, su, a normal S. All right, like in sample, sa, se, si, so, su, and uh, it it doesn't matter. So the 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 word means the same. Um, and everyone is going to to understand, no matter what, if you say Zaragoza or Zaragoza, it's the same. For instance, Carol, Carolina, es de Zaragoza, <laughs> or Carolina es de Zaragoza. Mm, I'm gonna give you a few examples with all these. For instance, um, ¿Qué te apetece? hacer esta noche. ¿Quién dices que tiene cinco hermanos? ¿Cómo vamos al zoológico? ¿En coche o en autobús? ¿Cuánto zumo de naranja queda en la nevera? Bien. Um, Then we've got two other different sounds. The sound G and the sound <laughs> This one is quite fun, yeah? <laughs> um, ga, ge, gi, go, gu o ja, ge, ge, gi, gi, ho, hu. I'll give you some examples with this. 
For example, um, tengo que regar las plantas del jardín. Sigue en pie el viaje a Getafe con el jefe. <ríe> um, por ejemplo, a ah, uh, Guillermo no le gustaba ir al colegio cuando era pequeño. Ahora es un jinete profesional. Siempre le han gustado los caballos. Mm, no te preocupes. Yo creo que verás a Ana en el bar. Lleva un gorro rojo y unos guantes muy juveniles. ¿Sí? Hace mucho frío en ese bar. <ríe> eh, bien. Número 6. Vocales. The vowels. In Spanish we've got just five vowels, right? A, E, I, O, U. And they are always, always pronounced the same way. They are very simple. Uh, even when we've got words where we've got two or even three vowels together, uh, you pronounce every single one no matter what. For example, this number, número seis. Número seis o número nueve. Nine, número nueve. And also, um, just on the, on the vowels is where we will be using accents, yeah? Sometimes a word will have an accent. Uh, we can cover that in a different video. Uh, at some point, but only in the vowels, not consonants. The vowels A, E, I, O, U. Um, for example, in a dialogue or conversation that can go like this, like um, Hola, buenas, Lucía. ¿Cómo estás? Yo bien. ¿Y tú? También bien. ¿Sí? Fantástico. Y hay ciertas palabras, certain words, where we need these two dots above the letter U. Se llama diéresis. And that means that we need to pronounce the U. Ge, gi, but bilingüe pingüino bilingüe pingüino we pronounce the u on those two words and a few more others okay um right so we come up to the last rule that i thought that might be useful for you to know numero siete signos y símbolos Signos de exclamación y signo de interrogación. En español, mirad al principio, the beginning, y al final, at the end. ¿Sí? Hola. ¿Qué tal? The same. Beginning and end. ¿Ok? We need both, always. And the last, last, last thing, I would like to mention something quite useful uh, regarding the email address, email address um, o correo electrónico. The symbol, the at symbol, we say arroba, arroba, gmail, punto, punto, com, guión, o guión bajo. ¿Sí? Ok, so I think that that's everything I wanted to say 
today. Um, if if you want, I would be very very happy if you could write uh, on the comments below um, whether you found it quite good and easy to follow because I've been talking in Spanish a little bit more um, some doubts or because we've covered quite a few things so you may have some doubts some ideas or some queries something that it wasn't that clear enough uh, and you need an extra um, or more detailed explanation um, yeah, I would like you to make any comments so I know where to stand and we can take it from, from there, right? For future uh, videos as well. Um, obviously, please, uh, it won't take you long if you've liked the video to click on the like um, and also subscribe to make sure that you receive new notifications. And above all, please keep sharing it because, um, you know, there might be other friends or friends of friends that are willing to learn or improve their Spanish so that'd be awesome if you, if you could just spread the word that way um, that's it nos vemos muy pronto hasta entonces cuídate